there. What was the vibe of the keynote? I mean, what, I mean, tell us, the, tell us what it was like there. Share with us that. Uh, I, th I think there was, uh, you know, it was very much forward looking in terms of, uh, you know, the next five, 10, 15 years. It was not so much around what you can do today to make more make the most of your SAP investment which I thought was you know it made sense from SAP's point of view but I think a lot of the attendees are also you know they want to hear the forward looking stuff but they also want to hear about hey how the can I make the most the of what sizzle, I got okay the, so the sizzle and the steak as we call it what's the sizzle what's the steak well the sizzle let's see uh, to go with your analogy uh, is the, the in memory analytics uh, their HANA appliance that's that's the sizzle they're trying to uh, push that uh, to as many uh, new customers as they can. I think the the real uh, steak, as you put it, um, the meat on the bone. Come on, the real stuff. Right. Well, I think what's really going to uh, help end users is a lot of the mobile stuff. I think that that's uh, really where uh, SAP can di differentiate itself, uh, building out a, its mobile platform. Doesn't the company have to like dramatically simplify its platform as well, Jeff? I mean, SAP has been consistently over the years criticized for just being big and cumbersome. It's obviously functional, but very traditional enterprise software vendor. In fact, in many ways embodies the complexities of enterprise software. So, um, you know, you've got the in-memory stuff, and that's hot. I see that as an enabler. Um, what do you think about their ability to deliver simplicity? Can, can they do it? Is, it? is it in their DNA? Uh, that remains to be seen. I, I think they've got a lot to prove there. Um, you know, they're they're known uh, as a company that can be a little bit cumbersome. They're they're trying to kind of they're going a little bit through a new uh, period in their history here with new co CEOs. Uh, you know, I think it's something they can pull off. There's a lot of smart people at SAP, but it remains to be seen. Yeah. So um, the keynote, uh, I understand, was talking about you know the vision of the future and what business looks like. Um, do you see, so today, let's face it, SAP's business is largely, you know, it's old, it's old on-premise business. I mean, it's those customers buying, and that's good, you know, from the standpoint of most companies get most of their business from their existing customers anyway, so you got to take care of the existing base. But do you see that continuing sort of in, into perpetuity, or do you see that changing dramatically, and, 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 and when? Uh, I think it's certainly going to change, I think, as, uh, I think one of the things holding back kind of cloud computing and more um, kind of more hybrid environments as privacy issues. Uh, I think once those uh, start to be understood a little bit better, I think you'll see uh, more companies transitioning to that kind of uh, combination on-premise, off-premise uh, deployment model. So let's do a quick SWOT here. What do you see as, as SAP's uh, biggest strengths? Obviously, got a big customer base, mm -hmm. got a good good revenue, solid financials. I mean, what else? Yeah, I mean, they're, they've got a really good, solid business intelligence product and business objects. I mean, those, the business objects has long been the leader in in reporting and uh, kind of dashboarding. Very well known. It was a big acquisition a few years ago. They recently uh, released their first kind of a major upgrade since the acquisition. And I think it was, it was received fairly well. I mean, that's what they do well. Uh, you know, I think where they sh where they might be struggling a little bit, or where they need, in my opinion, need to clarify their message a little bit, or 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 maybe find a message is around big data. Um, you know, we're so big data is an opportunity for them. I think so. I mean, you know, they're pushing the in-memory analytics as a way to do uh, analytics faster, uh, make it uh, more relevant. But in terms of big data, that kind of forward-looking, that uh, the Hadoop world. Uh, I, I haven't. Interesting. I haven't actually heard the term "big data" from SAP, and I don't think that's an accident. So I don't. Why think is that? Why do you think that? What's I, your intuition? Well, I think for a couple of reasons. This show, I think it's you're looking at a little bit more of a business crowd here at the show, and I, I think you know they don't want to get too caught up in some of the technical terms and things like that. Uh, but also because I, I'm not, I'm not sure what their capabilities around big data are at this point. Um, I mean, compared to what we saw last week with the There's MC, no sizzle and steak. Well, when it comes, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I don't see much around <laughs> that right now. I mean, they they they're going to have to really come up with uh, a new strategy, I think, around that because well, it's a big they, opportunity. They nail, I don't think if, they want to be if left they wanna, out. If they want to nail mobile, Dave, my opinion is they have to absolutely nail the social enterprise equation, which is data, data, data ingestion of data. So you capture the data and getting the data out. We heard that. And look at the devices: iPad, iPhone. You got to get that data out. So you got to bring it in. Store it and have the ability to low latency pull it out. That's that's their sweet spot. That's their in memory. That's a core part of their deal. 
All right, so uh, we're here with Jeff Kelly, uh, analyst of Wikibon. He follows the analytics space. Uh, Tony Pagliarulo is in the house, and uh, we're going to have Tony on. Jeff, thanks very much for coming on the queue. All right, well, thanks for having me on. Having you. For going easy on me. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll have you back, buddy. Yeah, Don't worry. Right. The second time. He's no, he's no longer so a rookie inside the queue. 